like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane What's up? I can see you now. Uh, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another post-competition prep uh, question and answer type video. Um, today's video, I'm going to discuss the stupidest thing I did whilst on, on prep. Um, whilst on my competition uh, bodybuilding diet prep. My name is Jacob McDonald. I began competition prep on April the 13th. 2020 effectively um, Didn't get serious about it until June July and ended up competing once at the end of August and once at the end of October Today's date is November the 10th and we're here to discuss some things. So leading into my second show I Had to maintain a 5% body fat condition from uh, yeah the end of August to the end of October which is two months of maintaining a 5% body fat condition. Mentally, that will fuck you. Uh, honestly, it's pretty much like torture. It's all good for a couple of weeks, uh, then you get halfway through, and then you're like two weeks to go, then you're like one week to go, and you are just over it. I was absolutely over it, guys. So, I uh, started doing some stupid shit. Some real stupid shit. What you might call a bit of self self-sabotage. That's what my coach called it. And it was self-sabotage, and that is basically a brain fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, that is not what you want to be doing, but sometimes your brain tells you that that's the right thing to do, which is absolutely insane for, for someone to try and understand. But I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and break it down for you. So coming up to the last week, I was cheating on my diet a lot, but then I'd wake up the next morning and do cardio and try and you know bring it back what that meant that is i was literally just maintaining i was not making any progress so that sucked but what happened was i got to about two weeks out and i was feeling so good i felt like i'd done a week's worth of good dieting i was making progress i was as lean as i'd ever been and we had two weeks to go still i felt too good i felt too good i felt way too content after that and i ended up you know, beginning a week worth of, of real yo-yo dieting. This is two weeks out from my show. So I wasn't putting on any body fat, but I was consuming way too many calories, and then on top of that, having to clean it up with way too much cardio. And this is just through restricting yourself for, for so long and, and, and a bit of self-sabotage. You know, I started thinking things like, I'm never going to win. What's the point? What's the point? Bro. The point is, this is your journey. This is your transformation. This is for you. You, you don't do this for anyone else. Uh, but these are things that, fuck, man, I forgot. So, yeah, that was a week of, of, of pretty pretty shitty dieting. So I found myself a week later, which is one week out from the show now, in worse condition than I did at two weeks out. So I went and, and binged one last time. I thought, fuck, man. All right. I said to myself, right, I'm going to have to do some crazy shit this last week as far as carb depletion. I'm going to have to do that anyway. Fuck it. I'm going to have another big meal. And that's what I did. And it just put me back further. It put me back fucking further. So on the Saturday, I think I had a massive meal. On the Sunday, I cleaned it up a bit. On the Monday, I saw my coach, Steve, and I was looking watery as fuck. You know, um, this was a point where I was lean enough to see some water retention. And he said that he could see it. I could see it. And there's only one thing we can do from here, which is deplete car carbohydrates completely um, during peak week, which is something I hadn't done because I hadn't needed to. But I did need to. And it's only because I cheated on my fucking diet and I wasn't ready early. You know what I mean? <sighs> Silly stuff, man. Silly stuff. So I guess you could include going zero carbohydrates for the whole entire last week as stupid. But I mean, some people have to do that. Um, but they didn't put themselves in that position through not being able to stick to their diet. They've put themselves in that position through their body being a type of body that does not, you know, perform well um, with carbohydrates. So my body loves carbs. I need carbs. Carbs seem to process through my system too uh, very easily. 
but not when I take in too many. We can all take in too many carbohydrates, guys, and that's what I fucking did. I went five days, Monday to Friday, completely low carb, no carb. Came in on Friday for my final session with my coach, and he was really pleased, and I was really pleased. Things were looking good. All that I had to do from there was to slowly take in carbohydrates. Slowly. That's all I had to do. Do you think I could do that? No. No. It had been too long. My mind was fucked by this point. <laughs> and so, as soon as I took, after that five days of carb depletion, as soon as I took my first taste of oats, or banana, or whatever it was, I couldn't stop, man. I could not stop. It was going through. It was literally like not even, it was not touching the sides. I'd eat a cup of oatmeal, and it wouldn't touch the sides. I'd eat another cup, it wouldn't touch the sides. I ended up having, I ended up having 900 grams of carbs within about six hours on that Friday. When I'd aimed to have prob probably about 300 to be fair. I just simply could not stop. I could not stop and it was terrible. And so at the end of that night I'd eaten 900 grams of carbs. Um, the day before the show, um, you know, I'm not saying that it did any damage. But I'm, I'm definitely saying it was stupid and it wasn't ideal. But it did do damage at the end of the day. I feel like after going through that, I felt, I, I, I felt like I would have looked better and more separated on stage being flat. Completely flat. Completely carb depleted. You know? I would have. So it was stupid. Next morning, I woke up and my mind was playing tricks on me. I thought, fuck man, you've done it. You've gone and done it. You've you've absolutely ruined your condition. You know, in reality, I was pretty pretty dehydrated as well, so I didn't ruin my condition. It's not like I drank a whole heap of water with the carbohydrates. Um, I drank some water, but not much. So anyway, we went into the show. By the end of the show, so by the end of that day, I was looking as tight and as dry as I had been um, the previous two. So I probably just needed a bit more time for those carbs to process, um, for a bit more water dehydration to happen, and then I probably would have been alright. So I guess moving forward, I think I can process that amount of carbohydrates, but I think I'd need to do it over a period of days. Um, and that actually jogs my memory, because I did continue to eat carbohydrates, and I didn't probably feel that real full, like, bursting feeling of my muscles, having not even trained them, until about the Tuesday. So moving forward, I'd love to, yes, deplete that last, well, second to last week, get into the condition that I'm happy with, and then slowly but surely, throughout that final week, um, bring carbohydrates in, you know, slowly but surely, you know, start to feel that, that, that tight feeling in my muscles that I hadn't had for so long, and, um, and come into the show with a nice, flat, six pack but with nice full feeling muscles that's the plan so anyways guys that was the stupid uh, approach I, I had to my second show peak week the first one was a bit better because I hadn't been dieting for so long and my mental state was a lot stronger this last show man I'd just been doing it for too long I just wanted to get it over and done with and I ended up doing some crazy shit so yeah that's it man that's the video for today I hope you've enjoyed uh, I am about to head home and have my first meal of the day, uh, but here we are two weeks post show and That is the condition You know my bicep is split which is a good sign and um, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching guys consider liking consider subscribing It means a hell of a lot uh, there's plenty of content to come. This this YouTube channel follows me, Jacob McDonald, throughout my life doing whatever I do at the time. You never know what you're going to get. Neither do I. <laughs> it's kind of worrying sometimes. But then again, that's just the way I am. So peace out, guys. Have a great day. Laters.